It's in many of the newspapers this morning, of course, uh, it's being spoken about uh, on radio and TV. Liverpool yeah. captain Jordan Henderson. Apparently, contract talks have stalled. Yep. Now, um, of course, he's got, he's got a couple of years left yep. on his current deal to run. So it's not time critical right now. It's not time critical. It's not time sensitive. He's 31 years of age. Henderson's representatives are in dialogue with the club, of course, and with Klopp. Uh, Klopp is understood to be eager to, to keep him. Of course he would be. But negotiations, we are told, have run into trouble. Now, you know, where do, where do you go with this one? Because you've done, you've been involved in umpteen contract uh, negotiations with players. Do you have to handle contract talks more sensitively, if you like, when it comes to such a loyal servant as Jordan Henderson? Um, well, yes and no. I mean, uh, football clubs aren't registered charities, so if he's not fit for purpose, then you can only uh, you can only not Jordan Henderson, but a player, you can only give a certain amount of sentimentality to something that's not fit for purpose. And you have to get the balance right between someone being able to do their jobs and someone being remunerated for, because of the fact they did their jobs once upon a time. Because life isn't about that. Life's about being able to evolve. Now, you look at Jordan Henderson, it's not time critical for him to have a new contract. The beneficiary of a new contract will be an immediate pay rise, I suspect, for Jordan, because that's what tends to happen. Um, and maybe a few extra years on the back end of a contract which takes a player that's been injured quite a lot recently to a stage where they're getting contracts that go beyond their 33rd, 34th, 35th years of age. And at the same time, you've got to look at the fact that um, I think Liverpool's relationship with Jurgen Klopp is quite strong. I think Jurgen Klopp has quite a, quite significant influence. Mm. If this is a problem for Jurgen Klopp, I would expect him to make a stand on behalf of his player if he believes that there's an in inequitability about the way that the club might be behaving in terms of the club are suggesting that what they're doing or they're putting in front of something that's you, not you really You would say fair. Klopp would stand by well, Henderson's I, 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 side with his player and say, I come would, on, get this done. I would suggest to you that if the manager with the highest level of currency that a Liverpool manager has had for quite some time, given the fact he's delivered them the Premier League... He's delivered them the Champions League. He is considered to be the Messiah for Liverpool fans. And I, I don't think I'm wrong in that in certain respects because he's delivered things that no one else has, i.e. the Premier League. I think he'll have an immense amount of currency with John Henry, who's recovering from a very bad PR battering about their participation in the European Super League. If there isn't a contract that's being able to be concluded... I wouldn't suggest that Jurgen Klopp is standing to the side of it and abdicating responsibility no, no. Or, or, or not involved in the standoff as well. Yeah. Because I would suspect if he thinks something's fair and equitable for both the player and the club, he'd be saying it. So I look at this and say, no, you shouldn't be over-sentimental because I can tell you one thing, players won't be. They're not going to be over-sentimental. They're not going to suddenly turn around and say, well, look, you know, we want to stay here because we've loved it here. The first opportunity something better comes along for them, they'll take it, and I know there'll be a sucking sucking in a breath and not our Jordan. Yeah, you're Jordan. And uh, Henderson, do you think he falls into that category? Well, I think... I think with he the loves greatest, the place, he loves the fans, they love him. Well, you know... That's why there could be sensitivity If, if an opportunity that suits Jordan Henderson's career better comes along, which is difficult to see what that opportunity would be, because he's at a great football club mm. that you look to think will bounce back from a pretty poor season last year for a variety of reasons, but some of it simply because it wasn't good enough. You know, we know they didn't have centre-halves, we know that they lost Jordan Henderson, but yeah. some of the performances in the middle tier of that season was pretty poor, and they've all got to own that. But you'd expect Liverpool to come roaring back with Virgil van Dijk being hopefully fit and maybe a couple of additions and a really pumped-up Liverpool side going after Man City this season and whoever else is at the top of the Premier League. So I can't see anywhere better for Jordan Henderson to go. No. But that doesn't necessarily mean that Liverpool should be put behind the, the the microscope about this is a stored transaction. We should be we should be looking at what he's done. Come on now, it's what you do next. It's just the oh, way the life is. True, Simon. But they know he's a real warrior for the club. If, if I'm a Liverpool fan, I'm looking at this thinking, well, hang on. But this should be one of the easiest mm, deals that the club can do. Well, only easy if you've got an agent at a table that's being equitable and not seeking to capitalise in on, pop, pop, um, on, on, on popularity or circumstances that surround other transactions that look as if Liverpool have been a bit remiss. The Vidal Wijnaldum transfer, well, we saw how he operated. We saw when he was going to Barcelona hmm. and decided that the, that, that the move for football wasn't good enough because the big bag of money that PSG were prepared to pay him was more luring than going to Barcelona. Now, but Klopp wanted him to that, stay. That's his gift. Well, he didn't want him that much, did he? Because, come on now, if you sit there now as a former owner and go, I've got someone here, he's got the juice. I trust him, he wins for me, the fans love him. I tell you what, I'll ignore him. 
over a player, over maybe uh, maybe a half a million quid a year or a million quid a year or a million and a half a year. I've got four hundred and fifty million pound a year turnover. I've got bigger fish to fry, but I'll have an argument with my manager over a couple of million quid on a footballer. No, you'd back your manager or you'd simply say, I don't want that manager. And if Klopp is if Klopp isn't isn't that resolute about it, then you have to suggest that there isn't a necessity for us to be resolute on their behalf. The Jordan and Henson situation will find its natural level. And if that natural level is Liverpool say, we're prepared to give you a new contract for a longer period of time, you get back you get the same money for the next four years, then that's what it will be. But I, I really don't think that we should be getting into the territory of saying, well, he's a, lo- he's a loyal servant and he's done this, he's done that, because that's no good. You'll have a team full of loyal servants never win any games. But that's how the fans feel. But do they? Oh, or, sure. Or, or, I'm or, sure they do. Or, 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 do we, or do we have the audacity to suggest that's how they feel because I think fans are pretty pragmatic interestingly just in the passing how did you react as and when this ever happened that a manager came to you and said look I want to battle for this guy I want you to do well, your utmost well, well, I've got a rough idea of what well, no, you no, might no, you have it depends on the manager it was. If it was if it was Peter Taylor stumbling across the table doing his normal wisdom impression it was one of complete and utter <laughs> shut out not interested if it was Neil Warnock and at times other managers that were doing good for me then I'd have gone yeah okay fair enough okay let's have a middle mark on this Oh, God. Well, well, we needed some levity. It's quite a personal level. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Thursday morning, 10 till 1. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.